Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. All right, the girls, we're up early. We're all up early. It's way too early. <laughs> the girls are getting ready to go to the groomer to get groomed and fluffified. You want to go to a doggy spa? It's kind of a doggy spa. Yeah, you want to go get all purdy? Huh? Wanna go get all purdy? Memphis is, uh, well, this isn't the real bad one. Her other leg. Where is it? Look. Ready? Look at all that. Look at that. I could do it again. Look at that. That two plucks. Two plucks, Memphis. Two plucks. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright, we're gonna go before they get too crazy. I don't know how you guys have so much energy in the morning. <laughs> So before we take off, as you guys know, we've been crazy busy and what happens when you're crazy busy and you don't have time to think about what to make for food? People like Home Chef, who thank you Home Chef for sponsoring today's video, send you cool boxes of food and you don't have to think about food for a couple of days, which is kind of awesome. Uh, if you guys want to get your own Home Chef box, there will be a link down below that will actually get you $20 off of your next four boxes. You don't have to order them all in a row either, like you can get one this week and then skip a few weeks and then get one in another week. Those weeks when you know you're extra busy and you just don't want to have to think about what you're going to eat are Home Chef box has arrived. We're going to open it up and peek inside real quick. Ooh, so everything comes in a nice packaged box and yes there's ice in the box to keep everything fresh and cold. These are the meals we got in this box and I think I think we're gonna make that one for dinner today. So stick around later and I will show you guys how that turns out. So all of the meats are packaged in the bottom of the box under a bunch of ice packs, but I have to show you the bags that all the recipes came in. This is literally the coolest thing. Look, this is the stuff for the baked ziti. This is the stuff for the salmon. And this is the stuff for the tortilla chicken. Everything is in its own bags. So you just pull it out and you got all the stuff you need. That's pretty cool. I love that concept. So as I said, there's a link down below. You can go click on that if you want to get your own home chef box. I'm going to take these dogs to go get groomed. And then later on tonight, we're going to make some baked ziti for dinner. It's so early, the sun is blinding us. It's blinding us. Anyway, I got the dogs. We're in the car. We're going to the groomers. We're on the way to the groomers. Look at those. Can you hear those? Look at those turkeys. Memphis is like, I see those turkeys. What are those? You see those, Shelby? You see them turkeys? What are those, huh? Yeah, what are those? Those are turkeys. They're turkeys. Big wild turkeys. You see them too, huh? All right, all right. We'll, we'll go to the groomer. <laughs> Memphis! Are you getting the bed? Right? She's like, I'm gonna escape. I'm totally gonna do it. What's going on? You like baths. You just don't look like you like baths. Like, but do I have to say it? You got a mohawk going on there, Shelby. She's like, guys, this is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a cool. She's like, I don't like this. I don't like this mohawk. <laughs> it's for years. <laughs> oh, Shelby, you're gonna be so pretty. Look at how pretty Miss Memphis is. Oh, Look at how pretty. Oh, is she giving you the, gr the grumblies? Yeah. She's got that fur flying, Shelby. So we now have two super clean, poofy dogs. They're still a little bit wet. I told her she didn't have to dry them completely fully because it would have taken so much longer. And I can always finish drying them at home if I need to. We're heading home. They look so much better. I'll show you when we get home. And we're home. Do you think Shelby's tired from being at the groomer? You're not, but look at Shelby's like, I'm so done. I'm so tired. I got a bath and they blew out my coat and they cleaned out my ears. I know, Janet did pretty good, huh? She did pretty good. You're all nice and clean now. She's like, I don't like it. She came home, 
got a bunch of water, grabbed her toy, and jumped up here and hasn't moved. I have a feeling they will both sleep pretty well today after that. Took about three hours to do both of them. So it wasn't too bad. And uh, I told her, you can tell Memphis's feet are still a little bit wet here. I told her, I'm like, you don't have to get them completely dry because that would have taken another hour. And I didn't want to stress them out too much. It was a little stressful on Miss Shelby. Memphis didn't seem to mind a whole lot, but Shelby was like, I'm not having this, guys. I'm not having this. <laughs> oh, I love you, honey. All right, chill out, relax. Apparently I have to go buy a door. Yeah, so I thought I already had that door, but I don't. I have the door that's at the bottom of the steps. <gasps> squirrel friend is back. Little mini squirrel friend, little tiny one. See him? Little chipmunk friend. He's on the tree. So anyway, oh, there he is. Getting them peanuts. So anyway, I have to go get a door for this door because apparently when I bought the doors, I bought that door, which I'm not even ready for yet, but apparently that's the one I bought. So I gotta go run to Home Depot and get a door. You girls are gonna take a nice little nap. Yeah, you are. I know you are. Look at how cute. Doesn't she smell amazing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of smell like wet dog. She's still a little damp. But she's so soft. Look at, you can see with Shelby laying down here. Look at how floofy. They're so floofy. You still got a little bit of floofs right here that didn't fully get brushed out. And a little bit right here. A little, a little bit right there. We'll just get those. We'll get them little floofs. Them little floofs right there. Just a couple. Just a couple floofs. <laughs> Shelby was done though. She was like, I'm not having any more. Yeah, you were done. So I did some more painting, particularly painted a door that's going to go over there. <laughs> um, and now it is time for dinner. So as I said before, we are making baked ziti. Link down below. So I also found out something else really cool that I didn't share with you guys earlier. It comes with a little binder and you can keep all of your recipes in it. So if you find something you really, really like and you want to make again, there's a recipe book. So that's kind of cool. We're gonna slide this to the side. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna start following these instructions and figure out what the heck to do. First, get out our bag of stuff. Second, preheat the oven. I always forget this part, so I'm always glad when it's in the instructions. Of course, what? It's normally in the instructions, but I normally forget anyway. This is not food for you. This is, this is, how did I know you'd both be in here? Look how pretty they look. You go, you both look so shiny and floofy. Look at the floofiness, the floofiness. You look super floofy. Yeah, all right, let's make some food. I thought I would show you guys everything out of the bag before I start really chopping things up and doing what the instructions say to do. Look at all that beautiful stuff. So I have water boiling for some noodles. I have a pan prepared with aluminum foil and a casserole dish for the baked Z. Next I'm going to prepare the onion. Oh, it's a shallot, not an onion. A shallot. Whatever. The garlic. Look, look, look. Here, there's garlic too. The garlic and I'm going to cut that in half. This is what cooking is like in our house. Could you get any closer? She's like, yeah, I could be where your feet are, but you made me move. I did make you move. I'm boiling what I, there's nothing up here. Wait, there might be one thing you can try. Now I know you like lettuce, but do you like spinach? Maybe? How about you? And I was just like, I'll eat anything. One more try, I pulled out two. No, no spinach. I don't know what Memphis thinks about it either. No. Well, that's a, that's what I'm making. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. We got our shallot cut up. I used a little bit less than what it says because I'm not a huge fan of them. So I halved it, which is kind of nice. When you're making recipes, you kind of do what you want, really. Got some oil, two tablespoons of oil about getting warm in this pan here. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, I got the garlic in olive oil on the ciabatta bread. All right, so now I have the, I cooked the onions and the garlic, and then I threw in the marinara sauce, a little bit of the pasta water, and the spinach. Now I gotta cook this until the spinach is wilty, which you can see some of it is already becoming pretty wilty. 
All right, so we took the cooked noodles and the marinara stuff and the spinach after it was all cooked and we mixed it all together in here with a whole bunch of different kinds of cheeses, Asiago cheese, Parmesan, um, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, mixed it all together. Now we are going to cover this in foil and pop it in the oven. You did get closer, didn't you? She's like, I did, and you didn't drop any cheese. Wait, I did, I saved one little piece right here. Since you wouldn't eat the spinach, you can eat this cheese. There you go, now you had some too. Anyway, I'm gonna cover this and throw it in the oven. So two things I wanna point out. One, I have never made baked ziti before and this looks and smells amazing already. Two, that probably took me maybe 12 minutes from start to finish to get ready. Now it's gotta bake for 15 minutes and then you take the cover off and for another five minutes. So less than 45 minutes and dinner's done. I mean, realistically, prep work was less than half an hour. So that's pretty cool. What? We'll see how it turns out when it's done. Well, I think we did it. It looks pretty good. Ciabatta bread looks pretty good. Jamie's already eating. Thoughts? What's it, what's it called again? It's called four cheese baked ziti. Ziti? Yeah. I wonder what ziti means. I think it's the type of noodle. I told them that. I'm like, I've never made this before, ever. So. I, it smells amazing. I haven't mm -hmm. tried it yet. Jamie says it's good. I'm gonna eat some food. I made lasagna. Oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, with all the different cheeses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's dig in. So dinner was amazing, but I secretly saved two noodles. Got a noodle. Yeah! And noodle. this is like, I would take a noodle! That was it, we just saved two noodles. We just saved two noodles. See that? Shelby got a piece of cheese, Memphis got a piece of spinach, and you each got noodles. <laughs> so, in closing, that was super easy to make. I love the fact that I didn't have to think about it, it just showed up, and it was really good. Like I said, I've never had baked ziti before, but that was really good. So again, thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring today's video. Link down below with a code if you guys wanna get $20 off of your first four boxes from Home Chef. The oven was on, and now I'm warm. <laughs> This is funny considering it's still, I mean it's spring, but it's still winter here. You guys know it's still winter here. What? What? You are so poofy, it's amazing. You're so, and you're so poofy. You're so floofy. I uh, know, you're floofy. You wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Outside, let's go outside. Come on, let's go. Outside. Dun, 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 Look at how much less snow we have. <sighs> Everything is melting. All right, after a crazy long day, the dogs are pretty exhausted actually after being groomed this morning. We are gonna go ahead and call it quits for the night and head to bed. Shelby is sleeping by, oh my goodness, by Memphis's birthday gifts that she gets to open. What, in a week? Yeah, about a week. Week and a half. April, April 4th, Memphis will be six years old. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, stay positive, dream big. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience. You little fluff balls, you both look like little clouds. <laughs> If you love our huskies, come along for the ride All you have to do is hit subscribe Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs